is how I micromanage myself in Notion. And these are the five methods that make it work. Most people use Notion to stay organized. I use it to keep myself accountable, tracking my time, running meetings with myself, and even automating weekly reports about what I achieved. When you build these systems, you stop drifting through your week and start managing your time like a professional team of one. Because without them, you'll keep working hard without actually knowing where your time went. So here are the five systems I use in Notion to micromanage myself. Subscribe for Notion tutorials. Let's dive in. For this video, I'll be using Headquarters, which is my premium Notion template. But of course, you can bring these ideas into your own setup. But if you are interested in Headquarters, there's a link in the description to the template. The first one here changed my life. What I'm going to do here is just add a few random tasks. So what you're going to do when you're working throughout your day, instead of just ticking these off as you go like a normal checklist, what you'll do is time yourself in how long these takes. Now, you don't want to just fill out the minutes because that won't give you too much information. What you want to do is fill out the bucket and the project as well. So the bucket here is this big overarching category that it belongs to. So let's just say that these here are all to do with my job. And then let's say that this here is to do with project one. Let's make this project two and this one project two as well. So when we're working throughout our day, we won't just tick these off like we normally do. We'll also say, hey, what bucket does this belong under? What project does this belong under? And how long did it take me? Then what we can do, and I've done this for over a year now and it completely changed my life, is open up the time tracking page. And this here will house all of my time tracking data. So here I can see how long have I spent on project one in total. So it's 240 minutes, which is four hours. How much have I spent on project two? It's 120 minutes, which is two hours. I can also see my time broken down by the bucket. So right now we just have tasks to do with a job. But if we add in here tennis, for example, I just realized that this says tassel for. So tennis here is to do with fitness. And let's just say this here is 60 minutes. And I'll tick this in as complete. If we scroll back down now to the time tracking page and open this up, here we can see fitness sitting here, 60 minutes of tennis, which in total is one hour. I had a boss in the past that forced me to time track all my time. I found it really annoying. But now that I'm doing it for myself, I can see, hey, this is really valuable. From this page here, I can see, am I spending enough time on the buckets that matter to me? And am I spending enough time on the projects that matter to me? Because if your time is being allocated on the wrong thing, then you might need to reorganize your schedule. So this here is my day to day. Let's look at tomorrow. There's a productivity technique here that I've done that has been really, really useful. Let's just add a few random tasks here. And what we're going to do is fill out the state of mind. So we have four options here. There's a flow task, which are tasks that take about two hours and need full cognitive effort. We have quick tasks, which only take a few minutes. We have easy tasks, which are typically admin tasks and normally take less than an hour. And then we have personal tasks like playing tennis. So what I'll do here is just fill out a few of these. Let's make these three here flow. Let's make that easy and make this quick. And I have this productivity rule where I can only have two flow tasks per day. And that's because the brain can only actually handle four hours of full cognitive effort per day. So what I'm going to do is look at this task list here and say, which of these tasks am I comfortable moving to tomorrow? So let's just say this hypothetical task seven here, I'll move it to the day after. This way I won't burn myself out because it's unrealistic for me to fill my day with flow tasks and it won't be sustainable for the week. And that micromanaging system actually leads me onto my next one as well. Now that I have these tasks there that I'm going to do tomorrow, I can now actually time block my day. You can either start with a flow task or you can start with either a quick or an easy task. I personally like to start with a flow task and this is known as eat the frog. Or if you prefer starting with easier tasks, then of course you can just move the quick task here to the top and start with that. But personally, I like to start with the hardest task first. So let's say this here is at 9 a.m. It's a flow task, so it will take two hours. Let's make this here 11 a.m. Then we have lunch as well. So we'll say this is at 2 p.m. And then this here is at 3 p.m. So I've time blocked my day here. And managing myself this way will help me to stay focused throughout the day. And by the way, if you prefer, you can actually time block and time track using Notion Calendar instead. I'll have a link in the description on how to do that. All right, let's just say all of these here are to do with project two as an example. And let's say all of these here are to do with my job. And then let's time travel, tick all of these in. And let's pretend that it is Friday. What I can do here is click on plus and select this weekly review. Because what I've done in this weekly review system is set up where every single task you've completed this week automatically shows up in your journal. So here are all the tasks that I've completed this week and they automatically show up here and they help me answer this important question. What did I do this week that really helped me to move the needle? So here I can look at these tasks here. They're not very useful because they're all hypothetical. But what I could do is look at these tasks here and say, which ones here moved the needle? So let's say this task four here moved the needle. 
and let's say this task nine here move the needle. What I could do is access the needles this week here, which is still on the weekly review or on the main dashboard. I can scroll down and open this micro dashboard, open this up. And this here is the move the needle page. And here I can see every single task that has moved the needle and every single project that's moved the needle as well. And if I were a boss, I would want my employees to do the tasks that have the biggest impact. So having this page here allows me to see every single task that has had a big impact. So now I know when I'm assigning myself tasks in the future to do more of these. This here is a game changer in finding tasks that actually matter. Now, speaking of journaling, this one here has, you know, a lot of questions here that are set up and a lot of systems in place. I have another one, which is a lot looser, which I like to do on walks and I call them me eatings meetings. And I started doing this recently when the meetings feature came out. So here you can click on AI meeting notes. And what this allows you to do is transcribe a conversation. Today, I'm feeling really positive about myself. I've been working on this 30 day notion series and it's taking a lot of time. And then here I can click on stop. And now AI will give me these three different tabs. We have the summary notes and transcript. I found this really useful. If you know, you find it maybe a bit difficult to sit down and write about your feelings instead going on a walk and just talking to yourself and having a me eating a meeting with yourself. If you were to reflect on your own performance. So that's how I micromanage myself in notion specifically using my headquarters template. There's a link in the description to the template. If you're interested, it's your all in one notion dashboard for your tasks, projects, life buckets, notes, resources, weekly planning, daily planning, journaling, and so much more. Or if you're not ready yet and you want to see the full tour, then click on this video here to check it out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful.